What's up travelers, welcome back to the channel. As J Aviation HQ coming at you with another video for you guys today. It's that time again, Christmas time has arrived once again this year. Another massive unboxing for this channel. But before we go any further into today's video, if you are new to the channel and, and like the sort of content like uh, model plan unboxings, airport updates, model plan reviews and other great stuff involving the hobby of model collecting, go ahead and give this channel a subscribe. And while you're there, ding that bell icon to be notified when videos go live on the channel. If you like this sort of content and you want to support my channel even further, leave a thumbs up on this on this uh, video. That would really help me out uh, in the future of this channel. It's a, a great lineup of videos coming up very, very soon for this channel, including more model reviews and airport updates. So do stick around and if you want to see those coming to the channel very soon. As mentioned, we have an, a, a, a massive unboxing. Um, not too sure what these these models are, so it'll be, it is the surprise of having a new model arrive. Um, or, always a, a great time to see new models arrive at, in the mail. Um, but it has been a while since I uh, had done a model, uh, an unboxing video for this channel. Um, just just uh, want to really iterate uh, these these um, model uh, box unboxing videos are not scripted. They are unlike my model reviews. Um, so what you get is raw me, my, my live reaction at the time. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive in straight into the model review. Sorry, the unboxing, my bad. Um, I'm, I'm so used to doing uh, reviews on the channel. Here we, let's go ahead and uh, go dive in straight into the unboxing of this box. So not too sure uh, uh, where these came or what these are but i do know where i bought them from i bought them from my hobby house it seems it says here from malaysia so that is a um a telltale sign that i purchased these from my hobby house i do like how this yellow sticker just here has a flight number on it uh, nz283 on the date it was september the 24th of 2023 uh, that would have been a Dreamliner from um, Singapore to Auckland. I think it would have been um, Z uh, November, Zulu, uh, November Zulu might be in the registration of that one. So pretty cool. Another registration here. Bravo-58502. Not too sure what aircraft that is, if you can see there. Uh, but here we have... A very stocked up box which is nice to see I'm just going to try my best to make it professional for you guys that are watching us at the moment um, thank you for coming along and tuning in to this video once again go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like the sort of content uh, so we've got a nice array of models here very very cool um, if you if you want to go ahead and check out the last unboxing I did of 12 model aircraft I believe it was um, either 12 or 11 go ahead and check out the top right corner right about now we will be led to that video a great array of models in this in this unboxing today it's just going to cut open this entryway so starting off, we are going to be having a look at this Virgin Australia Boeing 737 MAX 8 by NG Models. This is Monkey Mia, as seen on the, on the box there. I will put the, uh, the, the, the month and the year when this was released in the, in the corner right about here. For each of these models but this one was the first max 8 to enter the model uh, the fleet for uh, virgin australia so this is very nice to see we'll be looking forward to seeing what that's, that's like later in the video next one we'll be taking a look at is my second bonza uh boeing 737 max 8 this is sheila my other one is Bazza, uh which was seen in my most recent airport update top right corner right about now go ahead and check that out if you haven't done so yet very very nice i do like the bonds deliveries so this is uh very nice to see 
Next, we're going to be taking a look at my free model from the latest, um, from the latest uh, reward plan uh, by NG Models, and that is the, I'll, I'll show you the back of it. This is the Sun Class Airlines Airbus A3 A330 300, I believe it is. Yes, you can see it there. A330 300 Sunglass Airlines from Denmark, very nice. Looking forward to seeing what NG Models has in store for the next installment of that reward plan. Number four for today's video we'll be looking at is the Tajikistan, Tajikistan Boeing 787-8. This is a, a, a private jet. In terms of the carrier, this is for the government the, the government of, of Tajikistan. Very nice, as of course it is a 787, so it was definitely coming into my collection. Very cool to see. And the last but not, last but not least for today's video, we'll be looking at the Azul Brazil. I'll just move the box out of the way, as there is no more after this. Yep, the Azul A350-900, very, very nice. I love the box design. It is absolutely fantastic. I love Azul's livery. It is quite a shame to know that the Azul in recent times has announced that they will be phasing out the 350 fleet in favour of more A330-900neos. Um, so yeah, quite a shame that uh, in October next year these will be gone. So, unfortunate, but let's have a look, let's put all of the models, uh, all the boxes, at least, if I can put them in, I'll just put the 787 in the background, now I'll put it in front, and then I'll put this one there, and then I'll put the two 737 Maxes. Very nice. All five of these models been by NG Models, so very, very cool to see. So let's go ahead and unbox all of these models. So starting off with the first one of the five NG unboxings for today's video, we've got the Virgin Australia Boeing 737 MAX 8 Monkey Mia Victor Hotel Dash 8 India Alpha. Let's go ahead and unbox the model. Looking forward to seeing this one. It is my second Virgin Australia 737 following the 737-800. There is the little card that I'll be putting on my account very soon. So putting the box behind me there. Here is the model in the cradle looking fantastic sitting in there. Let's get it out. I love unboxing new models. The feeling of having a new model arriving is always a nice feeling. I'm sure other model collectors watching this can relate with that feeling. Here, of course, is the stunning, stunning model. Virgin Australia 737-800. Sorry, it is a Max 8. My bad. Of course, this, the uh, the advanced scimitars right there. Let's have a, a zoom in further. Very, very nice model. This is the first time I'm seeing it in person. I am quite a fan of the Max family, especially the Max 8. Would be nice if someone came out with a Fiji Airways Max 8. That would be fantastic for my fleet. As I am in the lower Pacific region. Very, very cool. I do like how the Max 8 winglets have the half white, half red. And of course in the interior as virgin you can't quite see it it's just there if i can just focus on it perhaps try and focus on the wing here we go very very nice model i might do a model review of this as uh, just uh reviewing narrow bodies can be quite tricky of course there are rather small 
in terms uh, in terms of the difference with the with the um, the wide bodies, of course. Very cool model. Virgin Australia Boeing 737 Max 8 Monkey Mia, Fit Hotel Dash Alpha, sorry 8 India Alpha. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. The second model for today's video, we have the Bonza Boeing 737 MAX 8, the second MAX 8 in a row. This of course, as mentioned earlier in the video, this is my second Bonza MAX 8 after Baza arrived earlier in the year. Now let's go ahead, dive in straight into the unboxing of the video, sorry the model, my bad. Should have a card in it, there it is. That would go very nicely. I'll just put that back into the box uh, so I don't lose it and I know which one it belongs to. Very nice. So carrying on, let's go straight into opening the cradle. I did miss out on the second release of the Bonza. This is the third release. Of course, uh, Baza was, was uh, released alongside Shazza. I do like how Bonds are named their aircraft. I, think I believe they have another one called Malk or something. That would be nice to, to see re being released. I wonder if NG Models are going to, to follow suit with what they did with their Junior 787s and release all of them with, diff with the different names. Uh, but here is the Bonza Boeing 737 Max 8. Let's zoom in. Does look very, very nice. This is Victor Hotel dash uniform Juliet Kilo at the front of the model. Can't quite focus on it, but you can see in the middle there, in the middle of the shot where it says uh, Sheila. A very, very cool, very, very nice model. Um, of course, it's got the thumbs up, thumb gesture, hand gesture there. Of course, that uh, being stylized for the letter B in the word Bonza. It does look very, very nice, this model. I do like it a lot. Perhaps the the purple look is a little bit too dark, but nothing I could I can't manage. And then the slogan of the airline on the bottom up here for Australia. Very very nice model. Bonza, seven three seven Max eight. Uh, Sheila, welcome to my collection. Let's go ahead straight into the next of the unboxings. The next one for today's video is the Sun Class Airlines Airbus A330-300. Uh, this one was in the uh, the reward plan. I do apologise for the sudden darkness of the lighting in my room, but uh, hopefully you can make this model out. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and unbox the model. I did hear something rattling around in the box as I was taking off the plastic sleeve so I'm am hoping that everything is intact while I am inspecting the model nothing is in the box as I didn't really expect it to because this one was a free model so there shouldn't be any card coming along with it let me know what you got from the most recent of the um the reward plan models uh, if you got any of them for free and as i ex sus suspected this one this is what was rattling around in the box i can't quite get it out this here that was the culprit that was rattling around this of course is the right hand stabilizer this one here but let's get it out of the cradle nonetheless should be an easy fix to just slot straight back in very very nice model uh, apart from that broken piece let's zoom in I will try my best in terms of showing you guys the model it does look very very nice of course the gears do roll, they don't tilt, they, they are straight on to the, on the strut, 
very very nice this should this should be able to just slot straight in i will uh, try that for the end screen of the video but uh, we'll see about that there's the sun class titles on the bottom of the aircraft very cool does look quite nifty with one sh with one of the um one of the stabilizers of course sun class airlines is a danish registered aircraft or airline um, I think they're based in Copenhagen, of course Copenhagen is the capital city of Denmark. reason why I got it is because I, I have uh, Danish heritage, so uh, it just made sense for me to get the model. But here of course is the Sun Class Airlines Boeing, uh, Airbus A330-300. Uh, uh, hopefully that DNG models now have the A330neo mould, they might come out with the 900neo, that would definitely be coming to my collection but uh, let's go ahead straight into the next model here we have number four for today's videos the Tajikistan governed Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner this I believe comes in is uh, 787 number 112 so 112 the fourth and last installment of my 787 series should be be filmed uh, very soon so do stick around uh, for that if you haven't done so already and you want to check out all of the the uh, the videos I've done for that series go ahead and check out the playlist that I did um, in the top right corner right about now episodes 1, 2 and 3 are on there there's the little card for this model here we'll be putting that on to my account after after filming this video does look very nice the 787-8 in this livery this aircraft uh, did operate for the Mexican Air Force I believe it was registered as t uh, um, Tango Papa-01 this aircraft here in the Tajikistan livery is registered as Echo Yankee-1 uh, sorry 001 so that's Echo Yankee-001 very nice model taking it out of the cradle i do like the new cradles for ng models as you can see here's the has the flag of tajikistan on the tail fin let's just zoom in a very very nice model i do like the uh, the gold text on the side of the aircraft there very very cool there's the flag of tajikistan and it is stylized on the tail fin. There's the registration, Echo Yankee-001. Very, very nice model. On the belly, it doesn't really have much, just the ribbon of the of the Chichikistan flag. Very, very nice model. The gears, they do roll. It is very, very fancy indeed. Looking into the engines there. They, it does look very nice. Tail fin is the tail fin straight. I'll look at it off camera. It is straight. That is always nice to see. So very, very cool model. Tajikistan Airlines or Tajikistan government in this, in this case. Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner. Number four for today's video. Let's go ahead and check out the last of the models. And here we have the, the fifth and last of the models in today's video. And the largest one of today's video, the Azul A350-900. This is Papa Romeo Dash Alpha uh, Oscar Whiskey. The other one is Oscar Yankee. They have two of them in their fleet. Let's go ahead, dive in straight into the opening of the box. I do love the box design. I will be doing a model review of this model, just trying to see if I can get the model out. It's, of course it is upside down for some strange reason. Let's flip it over. Very nice. Here is that little card. We'll be putting that on my account. Looking, looking forward to having this out in, in the open. As mentioned, Azul is phasing out or, or retiring their A350s um, from now until 
October, I believe it is, next month. So by n this time next year, it'll be one month until these until these beautiful A350s are retired out of the Azor fleet. So it, that is quite unfortunate, as this livery is absolutely fantastic on the 350. Of course, I do have the A330 Neo by Phoenix Models. Go ahead and check it out. Top, the top right corner, the review I did of it. But here, of course, is... The Azor A350 900, probably my favourite variant of the 350. Uh, but it is absolutely fantastic. I love this model so, so much. There is the Brazilian flag on the interior of the shark that there. On the exterior, you can make out it is different. You can just make it out. Oh well, I've done my best. It does look very, very nice, this model. I would highly recommend getting this model, even though they are retiring in the 350. I think I might keep it anyway. You know, I don't really think uh, selling the model is an option in terms of this model. Um, I'm sure it will be a popular sale for sure if I did put it for sale, but I don't really think it is an option at this stage, as of course it is a brilliant, brilliant, beautiful piece of engineering in terms of the 350. Um, of course, I will never back away from my Dreamliners, but I am definitely a fan of the A350. It does look really elegant. In terms of the Airbus aircraft, I think the 350 is my favourite of the, of the family. But, of course, here is the Azul A350-900. This, of course, is, was the first of the two 350s for Azul. Let's go ahead and, con and conclude today's video. And that would do it for today's video, guys. The unboxing of these five NG Models aircraft. The Virgin Australia Max 8. The Bonza Airlines Max 8. The Sun Class Airlines A330-300, the Tajikistan Government 787-8 Dreamliner, and the last one we saw, the Azor Brazilian Airlines A350-900. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you like this sort of content on this channel and you, like, and you want to support my channel even further, go ahead and give this video, this channel a subscribe. And of course, did that bell icon to, to be notified when videos go live on the channel. I have a great bunch of videos coming up very, very soon, including the uh, the model review of the massive C5 Galaxy by Gemini 200. And of course, the ITA Airways A350-900 by um, Aviation 400 that was featured in my most recent airport update uh, and of course some other great stuff in, in involving the hobby of model collecting uh, so of course go ahead and subscribe and be, notif and be notified by, by dinging that bell uh, to, of course to be notified for videos go live on the channel um, if you like this sort of content and you want to support my socials even further, go ahead and scan the QR code on the screen now to be led to my main Instagram account. That, of course, is for Astra International Airport, which can, which can be seen in the background of today's video and, of course, this particular shot. And, of course, if you want to support my all of my social channels, including Patreon, the website, and, and of course, the Instagram thread account, go ahead and scan the QR code you can see on the screen now to be led to my Linktree account. That will be all the, and the links will be in one place for you guys, and including this channel. So go ahead and support the channel even further by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and, of course, then that bell icon as mentioned. If you like this sort of content and you want to see some more on this channel, on the left hand side soon enough will be my most recent video. On the right hand side soon enough will be the full playlist of unboxings I've done on this channel. In the middle is where you can subscribe. But until next time guys, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.